again everyone! Miss Baya, Pensyara Kimia Awa, is here again! I have a question for you. How do I measure 1 kilogram of sago? Well, let's see. This is a 1 kilogram stone. When both sides are in equilibrium, now I have 1 kilogram of sago. The mass of sago is relative because it is compared to the wedding stone here. So, wedding stone here is the standard unit. Now, how can we find the mass of a single atom? How small do you think an atom is? Is it possible to determine the actual mass of an atom? Well, the actual mass of an atom depends on the number of protons and neutrons in its nucleus. Protons and neutrons are too small to measure like what we did just now. So, scientists introduce the concept of relative atomic mass. Relative atomic mass of an atom is the ratio of the average mass of one atom of an element to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon twelve. It is also can be written as In other words, relative atomic mass of an atom is the number of times an atom is bigger than one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon twelfth. The mass of one twelfth of an atom of carbon twelfth is one unit. And this is the standard in determining the relative atomic mass. The relative mass for compounds such as water, glucose, copper sulfate, and many others is known as relative molecular mass. Relative molecular mass is the ratio of the average mass of one molecule of an element or compound to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon twelfth. It is the sum of all the relative atomic masses for all the atoms in a given formula and can be written as Take note that for covalent compounds, it is called the relative molecular mass and for ionic compounds, it is called the relative formula mass. Now, let's go to Mr. Nizam for some examples. Thank you, Ms. Baya. I'm going to show you five examples on how to determine the relative mass of elements and the relative molecular mass of substances. Let's look at example number one. In this example, you need to determine the relative atomic mass of Y when the ratio of mass of one atom Y to mass of one atom of carbon 12 is 0 0.45. This means that mass of one atom of Y to 12 units is 0 0.45. This is because mass of one atom of carbon 12 is 12 units. And by rearranging the equation, we will have the mass of one atom of Y to be 5.4 units. Take note that this is not the relative atomic mass of Y yet because the relative atomic mass is a comparison to one drop of carbon drop atom. So, the relative mass of one atom of Y is 5.4 unit compared to one drop of carbon 12 atom. Cancelling all of this, will give you 5.4 since this is a comparison it has no unit 
Therefore, the relative atomic mass of Y is 5.4. You can practice more on this by attempting the questions in your tutorial book. Let's look at how we can determine the relative molecular mass for molecules. In this example, we are going to determine the relative molecular mass of pyridine C5H5N given the relative atomic mass for carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen. First, look at the molecular formula of pyridine. The compound contains 5 carbon, 5 hydrogen and 1 nitrogen. So, when calculating the molecular mass, we need to consider the number of each atom in the molecule. Therefore, adding up 5 atoms of carbon, 5 atoms of hydrogen and nitrogen will give us the relative molecular mass of purity. Now, let's look at another example. Here, we have calcium phosphate. We have two phosphate ions in one molecule of calcium phosphate. So, when calculating the relative molecular mass, we need to sum up all relative atomic mass of the elements present in the molecule. This means that the relative mass of the phosphate ion needs to be multiplied by 2 as well. So, the relative molecular mass for calcium phosphate is 328. Here, we have another example, copper to sulfate. From the molecular formula, there are 7 molecules of water surrounding the copper to sulfate. In such a case, to determine the relative molecular mass, we need to add up the relative atomic mass of 7 water molecules to all the relative atomic mass of elements present. And by doing so, we have calculated the relative molecular mass of hydrated copper to sulfate. Lastly, let's try another example. Here, we need to calculate the relative molecular mass of M when M is triple as heavy as 1 carbon 12 meter. So, relative molecular mass of M is mass of one molecule compared to 1 twelfth of carbon 12 and it is triple as heavy as 1 carbon 12. Moving on from there, we have the relative molecular mass of M to be 36. That's all from me. Back to you, Ms. Faya. Thank you, Mr. Nizam, for the awesome examples. Bear in mind, the relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass are not the exact mass of an element or substance. They are comparisons to a standard unit, that is, 1 12 of the carbon 12. Hence, they have no units. Well, that's all for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Till next time, Ms. Baya is signing out.